Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do our outside single arm circle with a kettlebell and work on the transition. The kettlebell circles are substantially more difficult for the most part than the heavy club variant. Heavy clubs are this big around, kettlebells are this big around, which means you need to make sure you generally know what you're doing before you try this with kettlebells, if you can help it, unless you have very small, very light kettlebells to work on this with, because that big weight transitioning past your legs, if you rotate at the wrong time, you will clock yourself with a kettlebell, probably in the knee, probably in the thigh. Not a great thing to do, doesn't feel great. I highly recommend you do not do that. This is continuing our idea of working on our hand transitions and expanding them to other apparati. If you don't have access to heavy clubs, but you do have access to light kettlebells, these are things you can work on. I am a huge fan of our rotating swinging movements. I think that they're probably one of the better athletic things that you can work on. If you do a bunch of normal gym stuff and you do inside circles and outside circles with either a heavy club or a kettlebell, you will be better off. For this one, we're gonna have our feet squat distance apart. Most of the lateral swinging that we do is going to come from that neutral position with our legs, where our feet are squat distance apart and our feet are pointed straight ahead. We wanna avoid turnout. Even if it's a part of your sport, we would like to try and train with our feet straight ahead so that we can learn to move something else better. Whether it's your hips, your knees, your ankles, but we are always trying to keep our arches strong and try and keep any of this weird knee stress out of the movement that we can. So we are going to pick up the kettlebell as normal in a, the easiest way we know how, which is a front clean position. We are gonna to rotate to our opposite leg, push out, swing past, missing our knee, that's the timing issue, pulling into our same side load, transitioning across. We are gonna do, for this demonstration, we are going to do three outside circles, and then we are going to do our transition. The goal is to have our fingertips be equal on this transition. If we're here, then we need to pull this back shoulder back, fire the lat as hard as you can to turn that rear lat on to connect it to your body. Pick up the kettlebell, outside circle, opposite hip, same side hip, opposite hip, same side hip, opposite hip, three reps. Now we're gonna do our transition. Outside, one, two, three, transition, one, Two, three, transition. One, two, three, transition. Set down the kettle bell as normal. One of the things we want to avoid is lifting this leg up, this heel up. That means that we're not doing something up here and we're trying to cheat to do this. There are people who do this. They tend to do it with lighter weights. If you wanna do this with heavier weights, it really, really helps if you wanna stay alive for a long period of time to do it with your heels on the ground and make sure everything else moves. If, part of you, if in your sport you move your foot, it doesn't matter. This is not your sport. We do not want to exactly replicate your sport. We want to replicate the movement chains of your sport. These exercises can be integrated in a myriad of ways. You can do them four reps, five reps, hand transitions back and forth. You can do them for a time. You can do transitions any way you want. Light weights, more reps, heavy weights, less reps. I highly recommend you start with light weights because if you're gonna mess something up, kettlebells are heavier than heavy clubs are. A light kettlebell is 35 pounds, a light club is 15 pounds. 
That is a huge difference in the amount of torque and torsion placed on the body. So figure out what you're doing before you do it. Don't mess yourself up. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.